According to the Tanya, which we began reading anew this week, man is made up of two souls, an animal soul and a godly soul. The godly soul is further deconstructed into two main parts, the part of the intellect and the part of feeling. The intellect is made of intelligence, understanding, and knowledge, while the feeling is split into fear and love. In our reading of Parashat Miketz, we read the story of how Yaakov was persuaded to send Binyamin with his brothers to Egypt to get food, since Yosef, then viceroy of Egypt, unknown to his brothers, would not welcome them back without Binyamin. After telling the story of how they were accused of being spies, leaving Shimon behind, discovering the money they paid for the food was found in their sacks, and that they needed to come back with Binyamin in order to get more food and Shimon out of prison, Reuven turned to Yaakov with reasoning of pure love and said, You may put my two sons to death if I do not return Binyamin to you. But for Yaakov it was not enough. His fear and certainty of losing Binyamin as well, his last remaining son from Rachel, was too much to bear. Though when Yehuda came to Yaakov later on, Yehuda, among other things, said to him, Send the lad with me. Let us get going and travel. Then we'll live and won't die. Yehuda presented Yaakov first with fear by letting him know they would not return to Egypt without Binyamin. Then he smoothly changed the fear to love and a spark of intelligence by mentioning he guaranteed Binyamin's safe return and their need for food to survive. And lastly, he turned to Yaakov's understanding by noting how they could have already gone and returned twice during the time of his father's unwillingness to let them go as needed. Yehuda focused on Yaakov's whole being to persuade him to let them take Binyamin with them rather than just his feelings as Reuven did, and thus succeeded. When talking to another, one must understand the other's being and lift their whole soul upwards with feeling and intellect, and thus trigger the other's body to do mitzvot with speech, thought, and action. Shabbat Shalom.